um, an HTTP handler for adding the data. So I want to add the record and we'll do just a single record in real systems. It will probably a bunch of records, but uh, we just want to make it for simply, simplicity. Uh, so I'm going to write it with you. Um, um, so this is the, the ad handler. Okay. Um, Okay, so we have a record and it's always good to uh, to, def to make sure that the request body is closed. Okay, and then uh, because we get the data as we get W, which is an HTTP response writer, which implements uh, IO, Sorry, uh, we get the request body, which implements IO reader. We can use an encoder. We don't have to do read all to get all the bytes and then uh, to deserialize them or unmarshal them. We can do it directly from the request body. So I'm going to use an, uh, an encoder uh, of the body and I'm going to do a decoder. Why am I doing encoder? Decode. Decode on the record. If there is no uh, good error, um, I'm going to log the error and uh, uh, status bad requests. Okay, and we're done. Okay. Remember that when you do HTTP error, it doesn't exit. So you need to do a return after an HTTP error, otherwise it's recall. And we're going to follow the usually uh, the usual three steps that um, we have at the edges of the program, which is deserialize or uh, on Marshall, and then. We're going to do the actual work. So, I'm going to log out the record. And then, uh, add the record. And I'm going to model. So this is very common at the edges of the program, right? The first step is to get some chunk of bytes. We're going to convert it to our Go types. And see from here, all the rest of the things should work with native Go types. So maps, slices, structs, time object, etc. Sometimes I see people passing on the data and doing deserialization over and over and over again. This is bad because um, there's no one central point when you validate the data. And also uh, performance wise, it's not ideal. So try to do only at the edges of the program. And once you're there, when you're calling the library, um, you're working with Go types with native Go types. And, and then um, I'm going to have a, a response. And a lot of time, I don't have a specific type for the response. I just create a map from string to interface because I want to answer with something. So I don't need to pollute the, the amount of types that I have. I can just use that to exit type. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, okay is uh, true and the number of records is n. Okay. Um, and I'm going to set the content type to the JSON content type. And then
I'm going to send out uh, just to log there. As I said, um, Once you start writing to W, uh, you can't you can't do uh, you can't notify the client. So we just log, and that's it. 